Welcome back to Uncle Gob and the Dread Shed. Chapter 5 Weasels Weasels shouldn't be confused with measles, easels or teasels. Measles is the name of a very unpleasant illness. Easels are things that artists use to put things on which they then cover with paint. Teasels are a kind of thistle. Weasels aren't measles. Weasels aren't easels. Weasels aren't teasels. Weasels are weaselly little animals who run about being weaselly. On television, on the radio and in newspapers, you might hear someone say the expression weasel words. Weasel words are when you say things to help you wriggle out of admitting you did something wrong. Like, I didn't punch him, he ran very fast towards my fist. This is one of the strangest things you'll ever hear anyone say in the whole of your life for the simple reason that weasels don't talk. They don't use words. That's not what weasels do. If ever you're with anyone and they say weasel words, you could point that out to them. Don't do it in a sneery, smarty pants sort of way. Just say it gently and nicely as you would as if you were talking to a weasel. Excuse me, you say, but weasels don't use words. Anyway, now you know all about weasels. Chapter 6. The Milk Before you go to get the milk, Uncle Gob, Malcolm said, are weasels disrespectful? Uncle Gob went off to get the milk. Chapter 7. The Milk Again Uncle Gob was gone for some time. When he walked back in, he said, Tess, I want you to make clear to the boy that I am an important person. I am someone who is in charge. Mum looked up. Yes, yes, Derek. But you've forgotten to get the milk. Chapter 8 And what is the dread shed? Just in case you're wondering why I've asked that question, that's because after Uncle Gob said that Malcolm was a disrespectful little weasel, You'll remember that he said he would put Malcolm in the dread shed. So now we are asking, what is the dread shed? A long time ago, when the world was nothing more than a primeval soup of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and tomato ketchup, there was a builder called Dave. Oh, hang on. It must have been after the primeval soup bit of history. I'll do that again. A long time ago, when street lamps were lit by gas and chimneys poured out smoke from chimney stacks, a woman by the name of Elizabeth Fear went to the Prime Minister and said, Prime Minister, there are some bad children out there. I know, said the Prime Minister. I was bad once. I climbed into my father's Rolls Royce, silver, sil super silver bullet cloud, and drove round his parklands, terrifying the deer. I was only twelve. No, 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 said Elizabeth Fear. Not rich and bad. I mean poor and bad. They're the ones we have to deal with. Oh, very well, said the Prime Minister. Very very relieved that this fierce Elizabeth Fia wasn't going to punish him for that driving round the parklands crime. There he is, driving round the parklands. I suggest, said Elizabeth, that in every area of the country we build special cabins. And whenever there are poor, bad children, we shove them in there. And they should be called Dread Sheds, she cried out. Dread Sheds? I like the sound of that, said the Prime Minister. There's a whole rhyming, chiming biz going on there. Dread Shed, she said. Dread Shed. The Shed's Dread, she said. Can I take that as a yes, said Elizabeth Fear. Take that as a yes, said the Prime Minister. And that is the story of how Dread Sheds came about. But, and here's an interesting thing, Dread Sheds were abolished, banned, stopped, ceased, terminated, finished. There were no more Dread Sheds left. What happened was this. Shall we have a new chapter for this? Yes, let's. And that'll be the next part of the video. Bye-bye.